Today we are going to talk about permittivity. Now most of the people think that a permittivity is a constant, but it is not true always. In engineering application, permittivity is generally expressed as a relative permittivity. Now the most important part: what are the applications of permittivity? Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. My name is Gaurav J. I post videos related to electrical engineering in easiest explanation on this channel. So if you are interested in learning electrical engineering in easiest way, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell icon. Today we are going to talk about permittivity. Now permittivity is a property of every medium and material. Now material we know what it is, but you can ask what is a medium. So let's understand what is medium first. Now I'm talking to this microphone. My voice is getting transferred uh, to this microphone via air. So between me and the microphone, the medium is air. Now if I take out all the air, then the medium becomes vacuum. Or if I fill the room with SF6 gas, then the medium becomes SF6. Of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm just telling you just for explanation purpose. So that is medium. Now permittivity is a property of such medium or the material. This is the thing number one. By definition, permittivity is the property of every material or the medium which measures the opposition offered against the formation of an electric field. Let's hear it again. Permittivity is the property of every material or the medium which measures the opposition offered against the formation of an electric field. Okay, that is the definition, but what is happening inside? Let's understand that. Let's consider we have two plates separated by a distance d. Between these two plates, there is a medium, which is air. Now, of course, in between these plates, there are molecules present. This molecule tends to form an electric dipole moment. What is electric dipole? It is a pair of equal and opposite charge. So for example, one molecule will have positive charge to one end and negative charge to the other, separated by a distance as shown. That is what we call electric dipole. Now, normally these molecules are aligned randomly in the plates as shown. The magic starts when we apply an external electric field to these plates. So let's apply an electric field. The moment we apply external electric field, these molecules align themselves in a better way. And because of that, their dipole moment produces its own electric field. And this electric field resists the external electric field that we have applied. In other words, the electric field created by the dipole moments acts in the opposite direction to the external electric field. So it becomes like same pole of magnet which will keep on uh, repelling each other. This process in which the molecule align themselves when an external electric field is applied is what we call as polarizability. The better the molecule align themselves or better they polarize, the more they resist the external electric field. And that is what we call as permittivity. Permittivity measures the opposition offered by a medium or a material to an external electric field. If the permittivity of a medium is higher, that means the molecule of that medium polarizes better and hence they offer more resistance to external electric field. And similarly, if the permittivity of a medium is low, that means the molecules poorly polarizes and hence they offer low resistance to external electric field. Now, most of the people think that uh, permittivity is a constant, but it is not true always. Permittivity is not a constant. It can vary with the type of medium, material, the frequency of the applied field, humidity, temperature, strength of the electric field, etc. Permittivity is denoted by a Greek letter epsilon. Unit of permittivity is farad per meter. There are two types of permittivity. One is absolute permittivity which is nothing but simple permittivity or in simple language we can also refer permittivity as absolute permittivity. The second one is relative permittivity denoted by epsilon r. 
relative permittivity is nothing but the ratio of absolute permittivity and permittivity of a vacuum or permittivity of free space generally vacuum's permittivity we refer as constant and which is denoted by epsilon 0 vacuum has least possible value of permittivity and hence we consider it as a base please note in engineering application permittivity is generally expressed as relative permittivity rather than the absolute permittivity and relative permittivity is also called as dielectric constant now the most important part what are the applications of permittivity let's understand that permittivity plays an important role in determining the capacitance of a capacitor capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by this formula where a is the area of one plate d is the distance between the two plates and epsilon is the permittivity of the medium between the two plates now as you can see permittivity can clearly affect the capacitance of a capacitor in the capacitor shown the dielectric used is air whose relative permittivity is little greater than 1 and in the second example let's replace the air by glass whose permittivity is approx 4.9 to 7.5 so definitely the capacitance of a capacitor with glass as a dielectric will be more than the air vacuum and air has the least value of permittivity than the material like polypropylene transformer oil glass wood mica porcelain distilled water etc has higher permittivity so material with greater permittivity will give more capacitance and material with lower permittivity will offer less capacitance and hence permittivity plays a very important role while deciding the value of capacitance so in case if you are interested in learning about the capacitor and capacitance you must know about the permittivity first that is the first thing now this is just one example we saw there are others as well of course so if you know any other application of permittivity do let us know via comments like permittivity there is one more concept which is called as permeability now if you want me to explain that too please let us know that too via comments this video was requested by one of my uh, viewers so similarly if you have any suggestions you can let me know that too via comments if you think this video helped you in understanding one of the complex topic then do hit the like button and share it with your friends as well that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning